Hello souls. How are you? Today's topic is are they your real friend? We will have five five piles to choose from. You can uh, choose several piles for several friends or uh, just people you know and if you know if you want to know what they really think about you and uh, can you trust them this is your reading so we have pile number one pile number two pile number three number four pile number five if you have more friends you want to check you can select more piles take your time Okay, and let's start with pile number one. This is a really competitive person. It's uh, one of the group. You are not, uh, you really look like each other. You don't have different status. So maybe you're hanging around and uh, it's not somebody who is different from the crowd, however. This is a person who easily gets into fights. Let's see more about them. How they really are. They have also a big ego. And uh, deep down they want to give to other to the other people. They are not that bad. But for some for some reason they have this energy that is like uh, making other people Mm, perceive them as somebody who is very competitive and uh, ego driven so deep down they are not that bad maybe they are uh, mm, reactive like uh, in some cases they believe that uh, they have been ch challenged by the other person but they get easily into fights Let's see what is what is their mm, what do they think about you? What is their opinion about you? They find you somebody who is uh really attractive they maybe don't show it so much but i believe that you are well aware of this however deep down they don't believe that your uh, friendship could last or uh, maybe because you had some something in your past happened between you and uh, they don't want this to continue like uh, maybe you have had a relationship in the past so this could be 
ex uh, ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend and you're trying now to be friends but uh, even though at the surface everything uh, looks fine deep down there's some turmoil and uh, regret what is the advice for you don't be worried you can trust this person you have uh, also large circle of uh, common friends you both uh, knew so this kind of relationship won't uh, be disrupted you continue to have good relationship and friendship between you okay let's see pile number two can you trust this friend this is somebody who let me double check this somebody who doesn't uh, change uh, things they stay always in the same place doesn't move a lot Sometimes this card uh, could uh, indicate also physical disability or some physical problem. In all the cases, uh, this is showing a person who doesn't uh, like to things to change or who is unable also to change things in their life. You know them since a very young age, maybe from many years, and uh, maybe you have also some family relationship, maybe it's uh, your cousin or your brother or sister, something like this, I have this feeling. How are they deep down? They have a really good energy. They are a little bit uh, naive, not that serious. They are optimistic too. But uh, deep down they are very judgmental. Uh, from the outside they look like they are very um, positive, not that engaging, but deep down they have this trait that they have their own, own opinion, which is not, really, not always very positive towards the other people. Okay, let's see what they think about you. Maybe they, uh, what are they telling you is that you are a very heavy and difficult to handle person but uh, actually they like you they have uh, like a deep, deep down in them they have uh, their opinion is changing they really like you they believe that you are a shiny bright person but uh, deep down 
some uh, change took place. So something happened that uh, make them change their mind. And uh, this uh, change is not finished yet. So it's something that started uh, a while ago and it's continue, continuing what exactly caused this transformation. Once again, they they are very judgmental, and you made some something that make make you appear like a small child. And this uh, changed uh, their mind about you. So. What they are telling you is uh, you, that you are a very heavy person to deal with, uh, maybe a little bit annoying. Mm, you know that these are only words, they really like your energy, they find you shiny, bright, they love you. But there's also something you have done in the recent past that... Uh, has actioned a transformation in their opinion about you. You acted like a child in a specific situation. Or maybe they asked for your help and you helped them not that much. Like your contribution was really small. And uh, as they have this uh, judgmental trait, they started to change their mind about you what is the advice for you how should you approach them in the future oh <laughs> well you will be disappointed from this situation so it's not something you can avoid but uh, try not to be that uh, so much sensitive and uh, if possible it depends on the role that this person is taking in your life but this is a minor arcana card so this shall pass too okay that was your reading pile number two Pile number three. Can you trust this friend? Mm, yes, I would say this is a very reliable person. They always uh, know what they are doing. They are very persistent, consecutive. There are no su surprises, they won't uh, backstab you. Let's find some more information about this person. How they really are. Yes, they are uh, really positive, uh, they smile a lot, uh, joyful. But they also are putting a lot of effort in everything they are doing. Let's see. What are they thinking about you? Wow. <laughs> they are very angry at you. And... Uh, Yes, we have the, the Ace of uh, Cups and maybe some of you think that this is uh, always love but in this case is uh, I would say that it's uh, like uh, over floating of emotions they are very very angry at you and uh, As here they look uh, some 
like somebody who is more careless you made them some, for some reason very very angry and there will be like uh, some argument between you what is the reason for this anger may we know what is the reason for this anger disappointment uh, in action uh, to high hopes they were expecting uh, a lot from you but you didn't do anything they waited a really long time to see your results and they were uh, putting their effort in your uh, friendship but uh, the work didn't pay it back back so, yes, they get disappointed. So, this is a person, as you can see, who puts a lot of effort and work in their uh, life and in their relationships. And it looks like you didn't pay it back. You didn't put the same effort as them. And uh, if you want to keep them in your life, you have to make some effort on your side. Maybe call them more often, pay attention to what they are telling you, not uh, call them only when you have some needs to talk to somebody also ask how they are feeling and then you will have better results if you want to keep this person in your life it's a valued person valuable person so the decision is yours let's see pile number four this is a very young person, maybe you are young as well. Very young, uh, I mean almost a child, so it could be teenager. So this is either a girl or water sign. Somebody who is uh, very sensitive. Yes, very sensitive person and uh, could uh, easily get hurt. Maybe they have some uh, issues with their mother. And this is what uh, so they have some problem with their mother and this is uh, something that hurt them really much in their life and uh, has marked their personality this is like a stamp on their character that was left this conflict with their mother or issue with their mother because it could be not a conflict between them two but some other kind of maybe the, their mother is not present in their life or something else let's see what uh, do they think about you Maybe you had a fight recently and they are a little bit guarded on that regards but they have positive approach to you, towards you 
Uh, the only problem is that they have uh, deep fears. I believe that they are related to this situation with their mother and this is uh, also reflected uh, somehow in their uh, other relationships. So they have fears of uh, that this situation with their mother will repeat also with their friends. So this is everything is due to past uh, trauma, not necessarily caused by or reflected by you, but uh, they got uh, emotionally and mentally hurt in their past. And uh, although they are very positive towards you, they have these fears within them. So they are really a real, they are a, a real friend of yours. There is nothing to worry about. You can trust them. What is the advice for you? The advice is to don't talk too much. Be more, be more quiet. Listen more, be more uh, perceptive, uh, mm, just uh, also keep their secrets. If they uh, tell you some secrets, don't, uh, don't go and tell everybody else. They need to know that, you can, that they can trust you and you need to be their uh, keeper. Keep their secret. Don't talk too much. Don't reveal their their secrets. And listen to them. This is the advice for you. Let's continue with pile number five. Your friend looks a little bit sad. Maybe this they have uh, this uh, area on their face that they look give the impression that they are a little bit sad, a little bit depressed. In general, this is not the current moment. This is general description. What kind of person they are? Maybe don't, they don't like social. Mm, events maybe they are a little bit of introvert okay or at least they are giving this image of themselves but uh, from the inside they are not like this they are they have this sparkle within them and uh, in some occasions they might turn around and be very active uh, like uh, the center of the attention the most funny and entertaining person so they have their moments when they are really depressed don't want to talk don't want to be in uh, for, in uh, within crowds and uh, in social groups they stay at home and in the next moment they are very open very speechy really popular so this is how they look like and how they really are in general and let's check uh, what is their approach towards you, what do they think about you? <laughs> so 
so your friend is a little bit uh, this is what you have in common they find you they believe that you are uh, a little bit like them somebody who doesn't want to take um, that much action doesn't uh, a little bit uh, sad sometimes and they're worried about you because maybe you are currently experiencing some disappointment um, related to your work or to some project that didn't went uh, didn't go well and they find you really smart they think that you are uh, really smart like uh, with a very sharp mind and that you're a really good advisor that you always have the key to every problem and uh, situation maybe they call you for advice so you can trust this person let's see what is however the advice from the cards for this friend what should you do towards them what should be your approach the advice is uh, remember also uh, trust them but keep some guard on because you have had in the past some some episode where uh, they have uh, showed some negative trait and uh, this could repeat and you should um, negative trait could be also inactiveness or passiveness it's not necessarily something that uh, physically hurt you or uh, some conflict or something maybe you have asked them for help in the past and they didn't show up so trust them but uh, remind also this part of their character don't uh, over idealize them and that was so for you pile number five i hope this was interesting for you if you want to see a reading on another topic write your suggestion in the comment section below and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye